Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Ball Cabbage. We're back for episode seven of the six mechanisms that cause peripheral neuropathy. And I'm gonna combine two of those mechanisms today, uh, decreased axonal transport and channel opathy or, or dysfunction of the channels that transport molecules in and out. So during hyperglycemic state, the high levels of blood sugar inside the cells actually cause glycation or gooiness to the actin and neurofilaments of your nerves. And what happens then is you have the sticky gooey stuff on the nerves, the nerves can't transmit the signals as quickly or as fast as they should. A lot of those nerves travel 270 miles an hour. So if you have this decreased axonal transport going on, that means the signal from your foot or your toe that's something sharp or hot may take longer to get to your brain so you can have more damage occurring to your nerve or to your foot before your brain gets the signal to say, hey, I need to take my foot off of that sharp or hot or um, whatever that object is. Channelopathy is the sixth mechanism and what happens in this mechanism, hyperglycemia causes decrease in the function of what are called sodium potassium pumps or channels. So cells have these channels through which a lot of molecules transport. So things coming from outside the cell go through these sodium potassium channels uh, or pumps. And when you have this hyperglycemic state going on, these pumps or channels are damaged and essentially nutrients can't get into the nerve cell and, new, and waste products can't get out of the nerve cell. And when that happens, you get nerve damage leading to neuropathy. So these were the six mechanisms that cause peripheral neuropathy, regardless of the type of neuropathy you have. And all of the mechanisms I talked about still occur when you're a well-managed diabetic. Just because you're taking the medications and the blood sugar levels are okay by diabetic standards and your hemoglobin A1C is okay by diabetic standards, it's still not the healthy level of blood sugar. It's still not a healthy level of hemoglobin A1C. Healthy hemoglobin A1C is 4.8 to 5.2. So if you're, a, if you're in the six and your doctor says, hey, you're down below the diabetic range, that still doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that these the problems aren't occurring. Matter of fact, the research says that these things are still occurring, okay? And all these mechanisms can be triggered by things like chemicals. So the chemicals that we are in our environment, chemotherapy, uh, medications we take, um, you know, alcohol, all kinds of toxins can trigger these same mechanisms as can organisms can trigger the same mechanisms in the body. So bacteria, viruses especially can trigger these mechanisms. So those were the six mechanisms and today was mechanism five and six of um, the mechanisms that cause peripheral neuropathy. So look forward to more of these uh, and more in the more videos in this ongoing series.